Okay, so yesterday I did a demo on Tableau Prep. Um, I showed the editing experience in Tableau Prep. I can't show the same experience on uh, Tableau web authoring. Uh, there's a block on what's considered a mobile device. So mobile devices can't actually use the web authoring setup. Those options just disappear. You can see here I'm looking at the option where the workbook option would be. It would typically be above the flow option, but I'm not able to do that. Um, in web authoring. So unfortunately, I can't show you what the editing experience looks like. Also, it wouldn't make sense to mirror my laptop because there I'd have to use a mouse and keyboard. So it'd just be like using a really large screen. Uh, that's not really a new experience. But nevertheless, what I did want to do is show what it's like to interact with the visualization and how that sort of works. So over here, I have Tablet Public. And uh, one of the nice things I can do in this setup actually is I can just sort of pinch and uh, collapse this to show you all the uh, pages I have up. I have the Tableau website, I have Tableau Cloud, I have Tableau Public, and I have a Viz, which I'm going to be showing you uh, a little later on. So if I go back to Tableau Public, um, you can see that I'm just on the home page. There's a few things that just don't render quite right. Again, this is just probably just because of the mobile setup. But as I keep scrolling down, everything just loads. And this is just probably Safari doing its job and working quite nicely. Um, what I wanted to do is just show you the experience of looking at a specific visual visualization. And um, there's one that I think is actually quite good. I could go to any of these, but generally I posted a screenshot last week of this one by Lisa Trescott. So if I go ahead and click on it, you'll see this is a viz about how common your birthday is. And it's pretty simple. Um, it, you know, pick your birthday and then it tells you how common it is. Um, you know, uh, across the whole range of uh, days of the year. And so if I'm just on this page very briefly, um, if I scroll down, you can see the rest of the page loads as you would expect. Now, what I was hoping to have in this experience, again, is the full screen capability that you sometimes get. Um, at the bottom right hand corner here, you can see that option is not available. So I can't put this into a full screen setup here in this mobile browser. Again, it's not allowing me to do that. The other thing I will just call out is that Lisa actually posted a blog post about this. I've got that open over here. So uh, if I go ahead and show you the viz here, this is the viz in the context of her blog. And if I go ahead and close that little uh, sort of uh, icon at the top right of that, then you can go ahead and read the rest of the blog. I highly encourage that you do go and read this. It's a really, really good blog and it talks about the approach and the creative sort of inspiration that led to this visualization. And I think it's a really good, um, you know, really good piece of context to understand how really complex visualizations come about on things like Tableau Public, but also in any context, the way you plan it, the way you come up with inspiration, this is just a great blog post in order to be able to do that. And so I highly encourage people to go check this out. If I go back to the viz itself, one of the things I can do is I can make this larger. So let's just go ahead and do that. And uh, yesterday I said that, you know, the nice thing about the Vision Pro is it really puts the, you know, visualization in your space. And as I hover around this, you can really see things flickering. So those are actually my focal points. There's been some research done in the past by Tableau on like where your eyes look. Um, the interesting thing about this is that as you're seeing things flash, that's exactly what's happening with my eyes. The, the, those are sort of the focal points um, that are that are being uh, captured. And it's interesting because you don't realize that your eyes do this all the time. This is sort of just a, a passive thing, but the Vision Pro really sort of, you know, makes you realize that. And then the other thing is, I noticed in the recording yesterday, is that it looks really jittery. It looks like I'm constantly moving my head. Again, to me, this looks all perfectly still. It doesn't look anywhere near as uh, funny, but the problem is, is that the, the camera's on my head, and so my brain does a good job of stabilization with my eyes. But for you, unfortunately, the recording doesn't look that stable. So it looks a little bit more jittery uh, than you'd expect. Anyway, we're here with the Viz. I'm going to pinch to zoom in and you can get this sort of full screen just like that. And there we go. That's that's going to have to do. And uh, again, yesterday I said that, you know, this is a full screen experience. I was looking for my uh, charger, but it's actually right there. So what we can do is we can uh, bring this up and I can put it here. Now, the reason I'm standing up is because I actually want to set this in a slightly different context. The thing about presence is that it's really hard to sort of put that point across without, you know, talking about, you know, and showing you what that actually really means. So at the moment, I'm in my office. This is my desk. This is sort of my everyday working environment. But if I uh, start to do the volume dial like this, you'll see the volume dial comes up. You can see that icon. But if I look to the right, I can actually gradually fade in another experience. And now we're in a completely different place. And I can grab this and push it out. 
and now this visualization is massive. Uh, to give you some context, this looks like I'm looking at a, you know, probably three meter high wall um, and probably five meters wide. It's just really, really big. And if I look around, you can see my whole entire environment has completely changed. I'm having to be very conscious of exactly where I am in my room because, of course, um, <laughs> I can't see anything. So I'm going to stay absolutely still just to keep this, you know, safe and, and reasonable. Now, in terms of interacting with this viz, um, there's a couple of things that are interesting. Obviously, where you look really, really matters. So if I, for example, click on September the 9th there, you'll see we get the tooltip and it comes up. And if I click on sort of elements in the tooltip, nothing will happen. But all the interaction you'd expect sort of just happen through other mechanisms. Let's click on the 35th. Uh, you'll see a smaller tooltip comes up. December the 25th, uh, the least common birthday makes a lot of sense. Okay, so that's, those are sort of the, what I would call the tooltip targets. When you hover over those, this is what you would see. But I'm having to click on them to enable them and disable them. It's kind of like a really weird metric. So what I have to do is find some white space to sort of tap into uh, to clear everything on the screen. Now, if we focus on the visualization itself, um, again, I can do this just by looking at a date. So let me pick a date first. I'll pick my birthday, December the 30th. So uh, for this, I think I need to go ahead and click on that. So if I can just pick on that, you can see I just about managed to put the balloon on that. December 30th is the 23rd most common birthday with an average of uh, 11,932 births. Um, so yeah, that gives you sort of an idea of how that works. Now, here's the interesting. Let me uh, bring it closer. And as I bring it closer, notice that it scales down. Apple do this thing where if it's really far away, they scale it up. And if it's really close, they scale it down. But it kind of keeps the same relative sort of proportion. And so now, what is interesting about this is I'm literally right in front of the Viz. I'm, if I come really, really close, I can see uh, the Viz in a lot more detail than I would do. Now, no one sits this close to visualization. But just look how sharp this is. And uh, the other thing about this is obviously I can actually scroll down, I can touch the page and I can just I can just use it. So it's not only that the gestures work really nicely, Apple are doing something to understand where the uh, screen is and what my hands are doing. And they're sort of marrying those two worlds together. And it means that you can do silly things like I can actually point at a data point in this viz and if it just works ever so slowly, yeah, you can see it worked. So I, I kind of, I was going for, what is this? Um, I was going for October the 27th, but it got um, August the 27th, sorry. And it got August the 28th. It's not perfect. It's a little bit, you know, buggy. It's not, not great. But if I go ahead and click on another date, let's see here, you can see exactly where I'm hovering. And if I go ahead and click on that, then the yellow balloon goes there. So you do get a little bit of an indicator of what's happening with your finger. But again, it's not perfect, it's not smooth. You can obviously use the drop down. This is the mobile interface, so that will come up. So it's gone to March the 10th, and then we can go ahead and choose these uh, things. So that tells you something about interaction. It's obviously gonna be much easier to interact with uh, big targets, buttons, and dedicated UX or UI elements of the browser, rather than relying uh, you know, generally on sort of what's going on on the canvas. So that is um, one example of one viz. Now, if I push this further back, we can actually uh, go back to uh, the Tableau public homepage. We'll just scroll down. I'll zoom it in there and then we'll go back. I'll just click on the logo just to go back to the homepage and show you some other experiences. If I go ahead and click the current visit of A uh, by Vinesh Shuresh, um, Stadium Popcorn Rankings. Let's go ahead and click on that. And um, you know, the visualization sort of load in the box that they are in Tableau Public, but um, this is, I think it's, it's a scrolling visualization. So if we, as we start to scroll down, um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, it's got a really nice design, but again, you can just see that, you know, it's, it's, it's just a completely different experience. If I bring it in again, um, it's just nice to be able to, you know, kind of interact with the visualization and, 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 and do something. I think this is exactly what, um, you know, people would expect to do. If something's so close, you'd want to touch it and in a nice way Apple kind of makes sure that that interaction works, okay? So, yeah, that's really it. There's not much more to it. I can't show you the editing experience because that's not enabled on mobile devices by Tableau. So unfortunately, I can't really do much more in this editing experience. Um, Tableau Pulse works. I can obviously navigate the usual interface as I would. Um, probably the last thing I'll show you is just like, what does, uh, you know, what does what does a dashboard look like? So let's just show uh, sort this by views. I'll just go to the Superstore uh, demo dashboard here. Um, uh, Oopsie Daisy, I'm struggling to sort this and click on the word Superstore. There we go. 
Um, and if we just go to the overview tab and just open this up, again, you'll notice that you have um, no ability to edit, doesn't sort of come up here at the top. And I've managed to uh, <laughs> manage to interfere with that. So there's a little bug there. It's going to refresh itself. There we go. So there's, there's Superstore. Uh, nothing radical, nothing sort of crazy wild. Um, but again, uh, you know, as I hover over it, if I click on a data point, uh, the tooltips load and the rest of the visualization kind of does what it's supposed to do. Um, clicking and dragging on this would be a little bit wild if I click on some white space here. If I click and drag, it does sort of select and it does, you know, work. But again, it, briefly honest, that's not a good experience. There's no tactile feedback, and you know you wouldn't want you wouldn't want to sort of rely on that as a as a mechanism. And um, the drop downs are just the mobile drop down, so I can you know click and drag these uh, sliders. I do this in front of you so you can see. Um, the ratio uh, slider here, I think, is just uh, another slider. So uh, the filters, uh, we've seen an example of a filter already. Um, this one doesn't seem to want to work. There we go. It's uh, working now. Uh, and yeah, it's, it just does what exactly it's meant it to do. If I go to products, this is another tab. Again, nothing wild. Um, this is, I think, a checkbox exercise. So if I select central, um, then it just goes to that. If I select east, I think it just toggles to that. Um, I don't know how I'd select multiple ones. I think this is supposed to let you select multiple ones, but no, that's not. It's not going to let me click and drag. So we'll leave it at that. So yeah. Um, not much more to share really about this experience other than the fact that um yeah it works exactly as it would work on your ipad there is obviously the tableau mobile app so unfortunately if i um if i if i click uh, open in tableau mobile it goes to the tableau store the tableau mobile app has not been enabled to work with the vision pro so even if i wanted the tableau mobile pulse sort of interface that's not been enabled by tableau just yet so um, i'm not sure if that's deliberate it's probably deliberate a lot of developers haven't done the same thing it's an additional thing to maintain and not many people have it so it doesn't justify it anyway that's um, pretty much it uh, again i've just sort of done this in one take not edited this video and yeah uh, post this up as is on LinkedIn and YouTube.